Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name is Greg. This morning I'm going to go ahead and do some modifications and upgrades to the back of our trailer, specifically our bumper. I'm going to be adding a safety strut bracket to help increase the low capacity of our rear bumper along with a receiver adapter and this is going to be uh, for us to install a rear carrier or a bumper mounted carrier on our trailer for uh, when we go full time uh, we're going to go ahead and need to relocate the tire uh, which will be no problem we'll just move it off to the side we'll probably bring it over here um, to the right side once we get everything said and done uh, the carrier is on its way uh, I'm not sure exactly I believe next week so let's go ahead and look at real quick what comes when the safety strut. Now this is the kit that we bought. It's the X002GXQIA1. That's a mouthful. They have a couple different options available for different styles. So inside you're going to get the struts, all necessary hardware for multiple configurations. They're going to send you two drill bits. You get you a sticker if you want to put it on. You also get a little calculation card here to help you figure out actually how much weight you can put on the back of this uh, bumper when it's all said and done. Um, just uh, some more literature. Uh, and the instructions. And you have I-beam I style. You have closed channel, which is what we've got. You've got, uh, looks like an S-beam. So they have different uh, setups for different uh, configurations. So we're going to go ahead and get set up, jump into this, get this thing done. Well, it's Thursday. I'm hearing some uh, sounds like weed eaters and stuff like that. So we got some uh, yard work coming in. So. Hopefully uh, we can get this installed before it gets too noisy. Now let's go ahead and get you down here a little bit for a second. Open this up. All right, there's one of them. And fits beautiful. Let me bring you back up so you can see. Fits beautiful right there. Now it does come with some spacers. Let's find those spacers. There they are. Because we have the L bracket here um, supporting part of the bumper. So those will actually go there to fill that gap in because as you notice, right here is where we're gonna be putting our uh, screws. All right, well, it's getting uh, a little noisy here as you see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video and I'll come back when uh, they're done. It's going to be a little warmer out, but we'll get it. All right, we're back. You can hear no more mowing in the background. Uh, went ahead and uh, kind of reviewed the instructions, ran to the dump, took another load to the dumps, came back and now we're back at it. So let's go over real quick what we're going to need and what we're going to do now. As you can see, it does require a C-clamp, which I've got a C-clamp, um, either a C-clamp or a bar clamp, and depending on which way, which one you have, depends on which way you set it up. Now we're going to take, once we get that in place, and put our bracket where it's supposed to be, we're going to come back and we're going to take the larger drill bit, and we're going to just mark the holes. So, uh, where we need to drill. So a very shallow cut. Then after that, we can go ahead and remove that, taking some lubricant, and we're gonna go ahead and finish drilling all the way through. Once that's done, now with the kit that we got, these right here are the self-tapping bolts. And as you can see, they're not completely round. They're kind of a more of a triangulish shape 
verses. Let's see. That one right there. Let me try to get you in the camera. That is round. Now there's markings on the rest standard bolt and no markings on the self tapping bolt. So make sure you use this one when you're doing it. And again, there's two different models and here you go. These are the different models. You got the standard and the universal. We picked up the universal, which comes with everything to do, all the different styles. Okay, so once that's done, then we can take back the shims, or excuse me, back the brackets with these spacers where I was showing you so that it doesn't get twisted. So let's get set up, let's do that. And the tools that we're gonna be using today is, I've actually got a screwdriver set just in case. I've got some Husky sockets. And then I've got just a standard tool set. Um, all these stay inside the trailer at all times. And one thing I forgot to grab out of the trailer when I was moving stuff is a drill. As you can see, it's a mess inside. Uh, we were working on it, <laughs> trying to get everything else taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and get the clamp in place, get this in place with the clamp, get those holes piloted, and I'll come back and talk to you a little more. Alright, got those tight. Uh, I recommend, oh, after your first uh, good trip with them, come back, double check, make sure that they're tight. And uh, there we go. We got the bracket on. See, it's tight here, here. This is where you really want it because stress is going to push it down and out on this bumper so make sure that it's like that i'm gonna go locate a couple more spacers for the other side and then uh, get that other side done then i'll come back all right so a small issue came up and if we look when we go to put the bracket in place it won't fit because of this bracket right here how it was welded on the support for the trailer so I'm gonna have to do just a little bit of modification to the trailer maybe something like that I'm gonna keep working on it and I'll bring you back when I get the solution but that's probably what it's gonna be it'll probably be just kind of knock that out of the way probably tap that up in place so I'm back at you in a few well as you can see, we've got her uh, tight, tight. And uh, let's see if I can get you in there closer on the, that nice little well job. Anyways, I think it more was a piece of glob of snot that just kind of kept that from flapping in the wind. So what I'll probably do is after I get this all done, uh, I might have somebody just put another tack on that. It is welded up on top. So it's not going anywhere, but I mean, that was a pretty sad weld job or spot weld job. Let me get you back in the picture. Anyways, onwards and upwards. Like I said, we're tight. We're tight. This time we're going to spot, spot, and spot. And then uh, we'll get those drilled out, get the new ones installed. Once we get that done, next bit we'll be moving uh, the spare tire and then installing our 
uh, hitch receiver. Okay, back at you in a bit. All right, we've got our bracket installed. It did pull just a little bit. I was having problems with uh, this back here, but she is good and tight on the bottom. So we're gonna be good there. We got the other one in place also. So we have a little bit of weight savings. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, self-tapping screws and add to them just for additional security. Uh, other than that, the kit complete with everything you needed. Uh, extremely sharp, uh, smaller bit. This one felt like it was a little dull, and that's the larger one, but that one was just for piloting. So it actually was a benefit. Uh, didn't let you uh, get too crazy, go too deep. And again, you can see all the spare parts because I bought the uh, universal kit. We're gonna keep those parts and uh, you never know, there might be something we can use those for. So got that. Next, we're gonna be moving our uh, tire off to the side, installing our hitch. And that'll be it for the day on our upgrades to the trailer on the back side. Be back at you in a few. Let's go ahead and grab this uh, receiver adapter or receiver kit. Let's set that down there and let's see what we need to do. So inside the box we're going to have instructions, I mean instructions, for those who want to read it. Uh, should be able to go top or bottom. Let's see. Uh, this product is not intended for use on decorative aluminum bumper covers. Okay, don't do that. Uh, do not use for towing. Do not exceed 200 pounds regardless of rated of bumper capacity. So it's only rated at 200 pounds. So we're gonna be within that area. So we're gonna go right like that. And we're gonna spin it around because there is a bolt right here that goes in. It's actually on this side, not this side, but hey, you know what? That works. And that's gonna be helping for uh, movement in the receiver when it's in place. So we got top plate, bottom plate, and we've got our hardware. Pretty simple. Now some people like to have special way that they put the bolts. Let's see how they want them. Yeah, they're just saying bolts top down. Some places want to see them uh, for some reason top up. Yeah. We can go like that. I believe that's about center. Grab my tape out of uh, one of my toolkits here. We'll measure real quick. There's that belt for anti rattle. We just stick her right there for right this second just so we don't forget her. Come back in. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these starters. We need to go get the wrenches. And. It looks like these are going to be metric. So, we'll go find our metric counterparts. There she is. We've got our uh, receiver in place. Uh, looks like it's a little off. So what I'll do is when I get the uh, carrier here and put it on, I will probably loosen it up a little bit and even it out. Because uh, these bolts are pretty much in the same spot. And then we'll retighten it. We've got our safety struts installed. So we have the additional load capacity. We got our spare tire moved. That way we can utilize uh, putting the carrier in. Hope you got something out of this. <laughs> you know, everything doesn't go completely smooth all the time when you're uh, doing stuff like this, uh, but you can do it. Just take your time. Um, 
Remember, if you are going to put some kind of receiver on the back, bicycles, anything like that, please get these struts, add to it. It's going to give you that just that additional uh, carrying capacity so that uh, you don't drop that bumper on the road. Uh, if you got something out of this, please hit the like button, subscribe, share. And until I see you on the road, happy camping.